it's already been demonstrated that PEEP will significantly reduce ventilator-induced lung injury. However, it is postulated that a more protected lung strategy would be first to open the entire lung, then add sufficient PEEP to keep this newly recruited alveoli open and stable. And we can do this with the open lung tool that is a landmark of maquette ventilators. And the concept is to recruit the lung first, then find the closing pressure before we, we reopen the lung and then keep the lung open. And there are eight different steps in the open lung tool. First, we switch to pressure control mode of ventilation. Then we increase the beep gradually to 20 centimeters of water. We can do that with two to five centimeters of water each time. <clears throat> then we increase the pressure control up to 30 centimeters of water with the peak inspector pressure now 20 plus 30 would be 50 centimeters of water. We do this at 5 centimeters of water each time and then we hold that peak inspector pressure of 50 for a total of 2 minutes. The next step would be to decrease the pressure control to the target tidal volume, which is 6 ml per kg of ideal body weight in ARDS patients. The following step would be to find the closing critical pressure by decreasing the PEEP gradually at 2 cm of water each time. Once we find this critical pressure, which is closing pressure, we add 2 cm of water above that pressure to find our optimal PEEP for the patient. The next step would be to re-recruit the lung again by returning to the peak inspiratory pressure of 50 centimeters of water and hold it for two minutes. And the final step would be to decrease the pressure control to achieve the target tidal volume once again. And then the procedure is ended. We can see that here where we are uh, monitoring the peak inspiratory pressure here in red, the peep in yellow, expiratory tidal volume in blue, and in orange, dynamic compliance. So the first step is to change to pressure control mode of ventilation. And you can see that this patient is on PEEP of 10 with a pressure control of 10 that will give us a peak inspiratory pressure of 20. And this is the expiratory tidal volume and the dynamic compliance of the respiratory system. The second step is to optimize the beep by going gradually with two to five centimeters of water each time to reach the beep level of 20 centimeters of water. You can see the increase in the peak inspector pressure proportionally to the increase in the uh, peep. As we do this, you can notice that the compliance has increased slightly for the respiratory system, and there is a slight increase also in the expiratory tidal volume. The next step would be to open the lung. And we do this by keeping the peep at 20 centimeters of water and increase the peak inspiratory pressure 5 centimeters of water each time to reach a total of 50 centimeters of water of peak inspiratory pressure. Once we do this, the tidal volume may increase and the compliance may increase. But in some patients, you may uh, notice a decrease in the compliance at the end of this maneuver. This would be because of the over distension of the alveoli with this pressure, moving the pressure uh, volume curve to the right, and that would be associated with lower compliance. Now we open the lung. The next step would be to decrease the peak pressure to find our optimal tidal volume, which is 6 ml per kg. So we decrease the peak inspiratory pressure, 5 centimeters of water each time, to reach a tidal volume of 6 ml per kg. Once we do this, we try to find the closing pressure 
and now we find the closing pressure by going down on the beep but here we go down only two centimeters of water each time and we monitor the tidal volume and the compliance we're trying to find a value of PEEP that is correlated with the sudden decrease in the compliance. And that would be the closing pressure. You can notice here at this point, with this pressure here, the tidal volume decreased and the compliance is decreased. So this is the pressure where the lung closed. Then the next step would be to set the optimal PEEP for the patient. So what we do is, we take the, the pressure that is defined as closing pressure and we add two centimeters of water to that pressure. We add two to four centimeters of water above that closing pressure. That would define our optimal PEEP. So we increase now the level of PEEP again to the uh, value of two to four centimeters of water above the closing pressure. And then the next step would be to re-recruit the lung. We keep the PEEP at the same level, which is optimal now. And then we go up on the peak inspiratory pressure once again to value of 50 by going up 5 centimeters of water each time up to 50 centimeters of water. And you can notice that the uh, tidal volume is increased for that patient and the uh, compliance is decreased uh, is increased after we set the optimal beep for the patient again you may notice here a decrease in the compliance if we if we overextend uh, or expand the lungs and the final stage would be to achieve the target or the optimal tidal volume once again so here we maintain this for two minutes. This is the re-recruitment of the lung. And then after that, we start going down gradually on the uh, pressure control level to achieve a tidal volume, which is optimal for the, patient, uh, the patient's uh, ideal body weight. That would be six ml per kg of his ideal body weight. Once we achieve that uh, tidal volume, we maintain the ventilator levels with a, peak, with a new peak inspiratory pressure and the new optimal beep for him. Any disconnection uh, from the ventilator for whatever reason requires to do this maneuver once again. Thank you very much.